Today on Wood Turning, we're going to have some fun. We're going to make an arched bowl. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools, best in class carbide wood turning tools. Remember a couple of years ago when I asked for any suggestions on what to do with this? I got a bunch of pieces of wood that came from the oil field and they were used to hold giant pipes to keep them from rolling. And I got a lot of good suggestions, none of which I wanted to use. So I finally came up with this idea <laughs> to make an arched bowl. And this is a way of making a winged type bowl without having to make the wings. You still got to turn the bowl, which can get kind of hairy at times, but it's a lot easier than turning those wings. So I've made three marks here. I found my center. And then since my American Beauty has a 25 inch swing, I'm gonna nip off these ends to make this 24 inches. That way I'll be safe to clear it when it's spinning. So the first thing we're gonna do is nip the ends off. Now we're going to put a flat spot on the top. Okay, so I carried my center line up to here on the flat spot we now have because we're going to use a worm screw and a chuck to hold this in the lathe. And I just want to use my zeroed center ruler to find my center right there. So now we're going to drill a hole for that worm screw. So I had a little bowl laying around, so I used that to make a bowl shape. And now I've drawn the wings out because we're gonna take this to the lathe and turn all this away. <laughs> no, we're not, I'm not that crazy. We're gonna use Mr. Bandsaw, our friend, to help us remove that wood. Now before we get started turning, I want to thank our sponsors, Robust Lays and Easy Wood Tools, because without their support we wouldn't be here, and frankly that would suck. And by the way, I am an authorized Robust Lathe salesman, or dealer, I guess that's the way to put it. Come give me a call if you want a new lathe. I'm here for you, adds nothing to your cost, and I can help you through the mirage of all the accessories that you can get through a Robust. There are a lot of things to choose from. So here is our turning now. We've got our arched bowl blank on the lathe. I left the wings kind of thick because I'm not sure what this wood is. It's really light. It might be cherry, but it's dry as I'll get out. And if I made this really thin and got the revolutions going, it could snap. So what I want to do is work on the bottom of the bowl and get the shape I want before I go back to the bandsaw to narrow this down a little bit. Now, the tools you can use, you could use uh, Easy Woods carbide scrapers in here, but I'm going to be reaching out a little far for those. And so I want to use a bowl gouge on this simply because I have a much smaller line of attack. We want to start this at a really slow speed. And that's what's great about the American Beauty lathe is you can start at about, I don't know, what's that about? 20 revolutions right there. So nothing's happening. I'm going to turn this up and I don't want to go real fast, but I do need enough speed that I can cut. <laughs> and this is kind of scary. <laughs> Okay, I feel a little shake there. I'm going to come down a little bit. So I've got this big blade right here going. So I'm going to keep myself right in here. Robust sells these great box rests that are curved, and I'm using a dog leg to stick out even further so this won't hit the banjo. So now you come in here, you just take a deep breath, and just gently start cutting. Just make a little bit of contact. And you can see why I want a small point here, just to make light touches. So all I'm going to do is work on this for a little bit and make the bottom of the bowl shape almost to where I want it. I'm going to leave it a little bit thick and I'll explain that in a minute.
Okay, so I've got the bowl shape kind of going, and I went in deeper here because I wanted to establish how thin I want this wing to be. So we're going to go back to the bandsaw and trim this down, but the next thing I'm going to do before that is I'm going to come in here and make a very small tenon. That's why I left this kind of long and out of shape because we'll turn this tenon away in a little bit, but this will help us hold this when we do the other side. So let's cut the tenon, then we're off to the bandsaw. Nothing hits, we're good. So what we're going to do with the bandsaw is I'm going to cut down to this deepest part. I need to establish a line here so I know how to do this. I'm going to do it on both sides and then at that point it's up to your own artistic abilities to figure out how thin you want to make this. So I got back on the lathe here and I cleaned up this transition between the bandsaw cuts and the wing. Oops! And <laughs> you can see it screws it up a little bit. So now I'm going to take an easy wood negative rake scraper to go in there and just gently blend this in. And once I've blended it in, we're going to sand the bottom. We're going to be finished with that part. Not that part, but that part. And we'll turn it around and work on the other part. Easy goes here. Okay, now I'm making a mark that shows how the bowl flows through to here. And this is the trick over here. This is why I put this little tin in here because we're using the Easy Wood Chuck extended jaws to hold this out because this curves down inside. So in regular jaws, that would bottom out. And then when we flip it around, we're going to come back here and curve this like so and turn away that tenon. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on making this shape for the top of the bowl. So I'm doing my best David Ellsworth impression riding the lathe here. It's the only way I can get the angle on this thing. It's not quite comfortable, but it does work. So I'm just feeding in like I would any bowl here. I'm just working my way in a little bit at a time. I want to make sure that the width of this lip is equal to the narrowest part on the leg. So it gives it some symmetry. Also, I've curved it, so I do need to make a curved cut in here which is always challenging at this angle. But there we go, like that. So I'm just going to keep worrying out the rest of the wood in here until we have the bowl part finished. So right now I'm cleaning off the rest of the bottom of the bowl. I left my long jaws on. They're inside the bowl right now and I'm using my point here on my robust live center to give me enough reach to get out here to touch the bottom while I just start turning this away. So I'm just going to gently shape this. That little mark there is the bottom of my bowl so I know where that is. And I'm going to leave a nub here that I'll sand off. So it just takes patience and a little bit of time. So I went ahead and sanded off the nub on the bottom, and that is how you make an arched bowl. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Didn't have to turn those terrifying wings at all. We just did it on the bandsaw, did a little turning here, and I think it turned out pretty cool. Now you can put a finish on yours if you want to and have it look like this one, or you can leave it plain either way. I'm going to put another coat on this one just to make it a little bit darker. Well, 
That's how you make an arched bowl. Until the next time on Wood Turning, keep turning. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools, best in class carbide wood turning tools.